sloppy day out here at the field. I got the ladies doing lunges and duck walks. She struggles with her duck. Her duck broke. Here comes my two, my first two ducks now. Rotate the hips, E4. Look at E. You see how she's doing a full rotation on her hips? Yeah. There we go, E. This is my corner cutter. <laughs> Duck number three. <laughs> and the broken duck. <laughs> this is not even caught. Always stop. Emma, take my legs for a day. You'll understand. Gotta strengthen them hips, man. They play soccer. They need it. But she needs a lot more. The broken duck waddling along. So I'm headed over to the gym. Got some more of this crazy Arkansas weather. Like it was freezing cold this weekend. Sorry about the terrible lighting, y'all. It's still dark outside. But it was freezing cold on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Then yesterday, it warmed back up to like the 70s or something. And then this morning, it's like perfect football weather. I don't believe in flu shots, but living in Arkansas, you may need one, because you'll see all four seasons in one day. So shocking development, the gym is closed. Uh, I've been getting up working out at six, but I've been going to actual my gym where I have a membership at, but today I wanted to go to the clubhouse in my apartment complex, and I didn't know that it closed at a certain time. I mean, they give us a code to punch in to get into the gym or whatever. What's up, buddy? But even with the cold, it's locked. I guess it makes sense because uh, if you try to get to the pool, you have to put it in the cold also, but they don't open it until like 10 a.m. I guess that's to prevent like people swimming after dark and injuries and drowning, blah, blah, blah. But I don't understand why the gym is locked. Like, how you gonna tell somebody when they work out? What if somebody can only work out in the super early hours of the morning? So now I'm up, full of energy. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is a house workout. Uh, I have dumbbells, I have uh, a couple resistance bands, I have a couple ab uh, pieces of equipment, so I'm going to give me a good workout in here and I'll just do cardio whenever they decide to open up. This is very frustrating. Alright, so I got an ab wheel, single dumbbell with some extra weights, a couple of different bungees there. And a really messy closet. I'm doing an episode on this later. I got so much stuff in here that I don't even wear or use that I need to clean out and just get rid of. Give it to Goodwill. But anyway, it is time to get that pump. Sorry, I can't really show y'all nothing. I don't have a good spot to really set up. Plus, it's going to be pretty MacGyverish this workout. Um, but good thing is, buy a try and shoulder because I can definitely make it work with this equipment. So, see y'all in a few. Can y'all believe? that I used to wear clothes this big. Look at that, that's like two me's. And I just tied the string really, really, really tight till they fit. Thank God for growth. So I made the uh, home workout work today and um, I actually got a good little pump in there. Uh, I forgot how you gotta like knock out volume and you gotta cut down the recovery time when you're working out at home to really get that pump in there. That's what I used to do all through high school. So, um, but I've done quite a bit of cleaning today. I'm trying to turn Tuesdays into my cleaning day because that's one of my least busy days. So I'm gonna try to make it one of my most productive days outside of training. Um, and now I'm about to do workout number two and I'm actually gonna use some of my stuff at home to start out. Like I'm gonna use my ab wheel and I'm gonna use my little ab wedge so I can go and hit core down here. I mean up here at the house and then I can go down to the uh, apartment gym and do a little bit of chest and back. Workout time, let's go! So this song really makes me hype. It's on Deadpool. Uh, just like a good workout song. But since I don't own the rights to it, while I'm doing my abs, I'm gonna put some copyright free music over it.
Got a good little ab pump here. Time to go down to the weight room, hit some chest and back, and maybe a little bit more abs. I, mean, I do have a good buy, by the way, so why not? More abs the better. All right, so I'm now in the gym. My pre-workout is kicking in. I'm trying to get used to it. It still makes me all itchy, and especially in the face, and I feel like it's like right under the skin, so like I can't really scratch it. It's, I don't know, but it gives me that energy boost uh, that I be needing, especially now that I'm trying to do these two days again, because your boy's getting old. But um, I have to get some chest and back, and I decided to wear the ridiculously large shorts from way back in high school. I've had these since high school. I don't see how I ever got by in these. And the crazy part is when I wore these, I was like 40 pounds lighter, so I was a stick in these big old parachute shorts. But it's chest time with some back. Oh, I don't really like working back. Let go. For last week's chest day, uh, well chest and back day, I did a uh, countdown rep range from 10 to one. So I did uh, dumbbell, flat bench, single arm. Um, I did 10, then 10 decline push-ups, then nine, then 10 decline push-ups, eight, 10 decline push-ups, all the way down to one. And I really whooped my tail, I liked it. So what I'm gonna do this week is I'm gonna follow that same rep range, but instead of doing flat bench, I'm gonna do uh, incline bench, and then I'm gonna do standard push-ups. And uh, for my back, I'm just gonna do a variation of cable exercises, a little bit of bent over row, you know, just really maintenance work. Uh, it's time to stop neglecting it. So, let's go ahead and get this sweat. Let's go and knock it out. Time to die. So I can tell it's gonna be tough. Incline bench is my least favorite variation of the bench press. Whew. And the first set of 10, got the blood going pretty good. Whew, I'll check back in when I get a little bit close to the end, see how I'm doing. Okay, so I'm almost at the end of the chest portion. Got my set of two and my set of one. I try to do five through one without taking a break. I take a break between 10, 9, 8, 7, and 6, but five through one, I try to go straight through. I take a quick break to let y'all see how I look finishing those push-ups are getting brutal, man. Let's knock it out. So I just finished up with the workout. I only want to show y'all one set of the back stuff. I don't want to show y'all four, five sets. It's the same thing, just like I did with the, with the chest portion to show you what I was doing and finish it. Because if I'm steady stopping to record, give myself too much rest time. I did a pretty good number on me though. I'm pretty tired and I'm at the house. Whew, sorry I'm out of breath. But uh, you know, it's been a pretty productive day and it's only three o'clock. I love days like this, like I absolutely do. Got so much accomplished and there's still so much of the day left. 
All I got left on today's agenda is shower and comb my hair. I'm gonna skip shaving today. I'm gonna take my buddy off his exercise. And after that, the day's mine. That's why you should start your day early. Cause you get to finish when most people are halfway done with their day. I'm finished and get ready to move on to the leisure part of my day for the rest of the day. Shower, eat, Duke. So I've knocked Duke out. I'm halfway done with my lunch. As you can see, it's just an artisan green salad with a little cheese in there and some balsamic white vinaigrette. Some good old Fiji water, icy cold. And yeah, this is how I'm gonna eat for a while. My goal is to have abs by December 9th. That's my birthday. It's the end of October. I can do it. If I lose about 10 pounds, just 10 pounds, I look totally different. My goal is to lose about 15 or 20, so I'm about to be serious about all this stuff. And uh, my back is super, super tight. I think I'm sitting in a massage chair, and I might skip washing my hair today and do it tomorrow after morning cardio. We'll see. Big man. Big man, big man. Were you on that couch? Yeah, you know better, huh? Why were you on the couch? Instantly went home. Tell you, these dogs are just too small. So I'm at the end of my day and I couldn't feel better about it. I feel like I got so much done in so little time. Like today I was done with everything around 2.30 or 3 o'clock, even though I should have been done at like 1, but I took this long break, but that's neither here nor there. But just based off my Tuesday, I got two of those in, actually, two workouts, posted a video, edited a video, ran with my dog, cleaned up a few rooms. I did living room, kitchen, studio, then I did laundry. Um, I also bathed Duke, um, and I also... Um, Gosh, it's something I'm forgetting. Something I'm forgetting. What did I forget? Oh, yeah, I started shooting my next video for tomorrow's post. So I'm going to keep. I try to keep this uh, 6 a.m. waking up thing going so that I can keep posting because I feel good getting done with everything so early. Now I get to go hang out and chill. Trainings are over. Tasks are over. Today was definitely successful, so I will catch y'all later. And what better way to finish off a very productive day than to feed my man Adler? So I've been trying to feed him every day around 6.30 or 7. Last couple of days it's been raining. So I ain't been able to get out here to him. But I saw him out here when I took Duke out for his last time. And there he is over there. Even though he doesn't let me get close, but still trying to take care of my guy. He's mine. Yeah, he don't even know it. I don't even know if his name is Atlas, but that's his name. Take that back. This is the closest he's ever letting me get. He's right there, but I can't get him because he won't let me. But he loves my tuna fish. Seriously though, on that note, peace.